While the main form of interfacing with AutoCAD is through the ribbon in the command line, there are other methods of executing commands in AutoCAD. Two of them that we're going to look at now are the menu bar and toolbars. Out of the box, these two forms of input are turned off. Before AutoCAD 2009, they were the main forms of user input, but they were replaced by the ribbon. The ribbon keeps everything in one central place, where toolbars can and typically are all spread out all over your screen. Now, if you've used AutoCAD in the past, then you're very familiar with both of these, toolbars and the menu bar. And they work just fine, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with using them if you prefer to use them. Go right ahead and do that. That's fine. There's no real right or wrong way to interface or to use AutoCAD. There are some more ideal situations, of course, but there are definitely ways that you are familiar with, and that's probably what you should use. Now, if you haven't used them before, meaning the toolbars and the menu bar, I suggest that you just stick with the ribbon. Now, the menu bar is a very handy interface tool, I will admit that, and it takes up very little space. It's a bar that comes across the top of your screen that has pulled on menus where the commands are located. Many programs that you've used in the past have an interface like this. Now, it's very easy to turn off and on. You use the setting called menu bar. Just type it in, all one word, menu bar, press enter. If it's set to zero, like it is now, then it won't show up. But if it's set to one, that turns it on. And you can see here, it pops in right here at the top. And the majority of your commands are here. If you need to get to them, you just click on it. Like in this case, it's file. And this is very similar to the application bar. And I can get to new and open, close, save, etc. Just click somewhere else on your screen or press escape to get out of it. Now if I want to edit, click the edit button. Here's an undo, cut, copy, paste, etc. Now once I've clicked on one of these menu bar items, I can just kind of move back and forth and get to the different commands. The menu bar is very similar to the ribbon, but instead of tabs, there are these menus. All of your commands can be found in the appropriate menu. And if you're new to the ribbon, but familiar with the menu bar, then feel free to turn it on. But again, if you're new to AutoCAD, I say that you stay away from the menu bar and use the ribbon and the application, quick access toolbar, keyboard, and mouse instead. Now, if you want to get to toolbars, you can just type in the command dash toolbar. Now, that dash is important. If you leave it out, it'll get you to a different version of the toolbar command. But this is the one we want. Type in dash toolbar, press return. Now, if you know the name of the toolbar, you can just type it in. Right now, a real easy one to use is the draw toolbar. So I'm using that as an example. Just type in the name draw, D-R-A-W, press return. And you get this option to show it, hide it, make it go left, right, top, bottom, or just have it be a floating toolbar. Right now, I just wanted to show it. So you pick on show, and it pops up over here. Now, this is really nice because it has a lot of your draw commands that you're going to find in the draw panel. Now, you're going to find out once you start using toolbars that the toolbar is extremely similar to a panel. So everything in this draw panel can probably be found in this draw toolbar. Cool thing about toolbars is that you can left click on this top part here and drag it around and make it to be a floating toolbar. So you can reposition it as you'd like. You can drop it in right here, there it is. You can move it to the bottom, you can move it to the right, wherever it needs to go. Now it works just the same as your ribbon panels. If you want to start the line command, just left click on the line icon for that command right here and start drawing your line. Now, if you want to get to other toolbars, it's very easy. You can use that command that I showed you. Type in the name of the toolbar and it will pop up right on your screen. Now, there's a problem. There are a lot of toolbars that come with AutoCAD. So if you want to find them, just right click on any open toolbar that you have on your screen. Now, this is the list right here. You can see that there are some scroll arrows. It's very long. Any of these that you want, just go through them, find the ones you want, and click on it. Let's say I want the Insert Toolbar. So I click it. And again, I can reposition this toolbar wherever I'd like. Now, if I want to close it, I can click on the X in the top right corner. To give you an idea of how many toolbars there are, I'm going to type in All and then Show. As you see, there are a lot of toolbars available for you, and that's fine. Now, there is one reason I recommend not using toolbars. It's because there are a lot of them, and they are not locked into any one position on your screen. Once you position them and save your workspace, they are going to stay there for you, so that's okay. 
you can turn one off or on if you'd like and then get rid of the ribbon so you can have a little bit different interface. If that's the way you're used to working, then that's fantastic. But if not, I suggest that you stick with the ribbon.